Here is the wiring diagram before I made any changes. And as you know, we have replaced all the caps, all the electrolytics and all the paper caps. I also took out the selenium rectifier and replaced it with a diode. And I also have the circuit open right here. And the reason for that is the selenium rectifier has a fairly high internal resistance. I think it's usually around 150 ohms, where the diode is just like a half an ohm, something like that. So that's quite a difference, and if I don't put a resistor between these two points, I'm going to burn out some tubes. So I'm going to have alligator clips right here, and I'm going to be clipping in different resistors, and I'm going to start high and work down. And I'm going to be bringing up the voltage slowly with my variac. And I'm also going to be looking at the circuit right here at pins 1 and 7 of the 1T4 to make sure that I do not exceed 1.5 volts. I can be a little under, but I don't want to be over 1.5 volts. So now it's time to go to the workbench and figure out what resistor we need. Okay, here's the setup. Turn the meter on and we'll set this up for volts. There we go. I've got the 300 ohm resistor right here and I'm going to the radio's on and the speaker's hooked up. I'm going to turn on the variac and bring it up slowly. Okay, here we go. All right, well, it looks pretty safe. Okay, I've got the Variac up all the way, and we have slightly over one volt, so that's not going to do it. So, let me turn this Variac down. There we go, and now I'll change this out to a 200 ohm and do the same thing. Okay, here we go. Slowly bringing it up. Okay. Ah, hear a little noise, but uh, 1.22 is a little low, so let's try the 150 ohm resistor. Okay, yeah, 150 ohms. And do the same thing. Okay, here we go. And... A little bit more. Okay, it's up all the way. That's a little bit better, and I think that'll be usable. 
I do hear, hear noise here, but there's no stations. Hmm. No, no stations. Let's see here. Oh, the audio amplifier is working. So, looks like I've got some more work to do. Well, we'll do a troubleshooting video next on this. Thanks for watching.